Hey everybody, how's it going? Man, I hope you're having a fantastic day and uh, let's rejoice and be glad. It's the day the Lord has made. Man, there's gotta be something that you can be rejoicing about today. No matter how bleak your day looks, you can find something. Even me, I gotta go to work today and uh, uh, man, retirement is creeping closer. And so every day is just a struggle to want to go in every day. And so I go, I, but there is something that I can rejoice in. And here's something I can rejoice in is the hope of my salvation. Now, what do I mean by that? A lot of people come uh, to life and they look at it and they just think, somebody said to me uh, the other day, just, they, they're just losing all hope. And I just, you know, here's something you need to remember about that. and something you think about that. And salvation is one of the greatest things that you, one of the greatest treasures that you have because Jesus died on the cross and paid the penalty for your sin. Now, a lot of people think, man, there's just no way God could save me. I've sinned too much. That's a lie. There, you, there's no sin too great or too small that Jesus can't forgive. The shedding of his blood on that cross forgave every sin. Some people think, hey, you know what? I, preacher, I have committed the unpardonable sin. I have done something that is just so bad that God's never going to forgive me. Nope, no such thing as the unpardonable sin except this one thing. Now listen closely. It is your rejection of Jesus Christ as your Savior. If you, God comes to you, if you're listening to me and God speaks to your heart and says, I want to save you and you say no to that, <laughs> that's the unpardonable sin. And uh, you will be uh, forever, forever in eternity in hell. Now, it doesn't happen until the very last breath you breathe. I mean, you can breathe that last breath and say, God save me. And boy, he'll do it. What a wonderful thing to think about. And then sometimes people will think this, you know, I was saved, but I'm not anymore. Well, that's not true either. I mean, once you have given your heart and your life, you didn't earn that salvation. This is the other problem sometimes we have is we think that we got to do certain things. We got to pay enough money. We got to go to church enough. We got to uh, uh, be neighborly enough. We got to do all of these kind of things in order for God to save us. No, that's not true. God offered us a free gift of salvation just for uh, just because he loves us, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Now, so listen to me. If you never given your heart to the Lord, boy, now's the time. Leave a comment down below and I'll, uh, I'll connect with you. Some way, somehow, I know that this this video that's on TikTok just goes around the world, but we can still connect some way, and we'll find a way. If you're listening to this on Facebook, just leave a comment. And uh, most of my Facebook folks are uh, local. If this is on YouTube, uh, man, we'll find a way to connect there also. And um, uh, 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 you can you can uh, connect through the through the uh, website and my email. And man, I'd love to talk to you, but. Let's say this too, man, if you've just come to a point where you just think, man, this is just, man, my life is just in shambles. Listen, you have one wonderful thing, and that is the hope of your salvation, that no matter how bad it is, Sunday, I said, every, every trial is passing. Think of it like a thunderstorm. I just thought this was a great illustration. Every thunderstorm or tornado warning that rolls through here at Southern Illinois, it passes on through. And before you know it, it's over. Every trial that we've ever faced does not last. It's only there for a season and, uh, and also for a reason. And so just go to the Lord and say, Lord, I need your help. I'm struggling with this. Man, he is just going to help you out and, and uh, walk with you through that through that dark valley that you're going through. Man, I hope that helps somebody out today. Man, God bless you. God so loves you. And he just wants to just take you and walk with you and have that relationship with you. Amen. Amen. See you next time. Bye.